Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Let's look at how to create a design using the draw tools. So let's start by double clicking on the Pro Stitcher icon on your desktop to open the program. From the home page here, I'm going to click on this button, create a new design. It will automatically load a design page for us to start with. Let's go up and select the tools tab. We're going to use these tools right here, the draw tools. And we're going to select the arc tool. If you notice here, my mouse now has a little arc connected to it, which lets me know that I am using the arc tool. I'm going to drop my first point right here by just clicking with my mouse. And you can see there's a little line that connects it. We'll do our second point and our third point. And once I hit that third point, it automatically makes that arc. Now I'm going to come down and do another point here and a point here, which completes the arc. And I'm going to right click, or you can hit the Enter key on your keyboard to finish the design. Next, we're going to assign stitches to this design we just created. So we're going to come up here and click on the Preview tab. I'm going to make sure that my design's selected by clicking on the Design tool over here in the Quick Access Tools. And then I, under the Convert box right here, I'm going to click on Stitches to assign stitches to it. I now have the Stitch Out button available. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to have my stitch preview bar show up here, which is going to allow me to see how it's going to stitch out. If I click the Simulate Forward button, it will simulate how my design is going to stitch out. I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm ready to save it. I'm going to turn off the Stitch Out button. Now we're ready to go ahead and save our design. So we're going to click on the Home tab. And from the ribbon, we're going to choose the Save button. I'm going to have a Save As window come up here. And the first thing I'm going to check is to see where I'm saving my design. Right now, I have a USB in my computer that I can save on and then take to my computerized quilting machine. That is where I want to save it. I'm going to come down here on this line, the file name, and I'm going to type in a file name. I'm going to call this my Simple Serpentine. And underneath it, I have the choice of saving it as different file types. I want to save it originally in this first format that comes up. It's the Inspiration Series C2S. This saves it as the artwork format. If I ever want to go back and do any edits on this design, this is the file type to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. But I do want to save this in a format that I can take to my machine. So I'm going to choose the File tab this time come down here and find the Save As option and click on that. I'll have this window open again, and once again, I'm going to check. I'm saving on my USB drive. I want my design to have the same title, so I don't need to change that. But here is Save As Type. I'm going to click on this little arrow right here, and you can see all the different design files that I can save this as. So I'm going to choose the one that will work with my computerized system and click Save. And that's all you have to do.